Hi, I'm Ann McGlinty, or Mrs. McGlinty, as my painting students call me. About in the 70s, we decided to buy a piece of property up in Mendocino County because we were ready to leave the city. And we had a vision for what we wanted to create. We wanted to have a beautiful house and gardens, herb gardens, we wanted to grow our own food. And so after our children were born, we started to educate them too in how to make medicinal things from herbs and how to really experience the flowers and the growing things. Because I really believe that a child learns best by actually doing things with their hands and taking it inside themselves and learning on their own. And so when it was time for the girls to go to school, we found the Waldorf School of Mendocino County. And the whole philosophy of the Waldorf education is educating the whole child. And I really appreciate that philosophy. And we really embrace it as our family. But besides the herbs and the flowers, my first love has always been watercolor painting. And so when we moved to Willits, I started teaching after school art classes and I actually taught art classes in all of the schools in Willits. And then I started studying Waldorf education more as far as painting goes. And I did the teacher training for one year, the kindergarten teacher training. And then I mentored with several really wonderful Waldorf art teachers. And I started teaching at the local Waldorf charter school. And so I've created a series of lessons that I'm really excited to share with you each week. And also some of my tips, some herbal knowledge and things that I've learned. And each week I'll be sharing these things with you. And I look forward to it. Thank you. Hi, this is Anne. I'm really excited to take you on the journey of our newly planted lavender garden. We planted our first lavender garden about 20 years ago. And this is the last lavender, the large lavender plant over there. That's the last one that we saved. What happened was, is the stems get really woody. As lavender grows, it usually develops really woody stems after a while. And eventually it has to be replaced when it no longer produces vigorously. So this is a good example of how on the front of the lavender that I just showed you, everything looks really great. But when you look at the back, you'll see the stems have gotten really, really woody and also has some companion planting here with some mugwort. This part of our newly planted lavender garden, these are all lavender grosso, which are known for really fragrant blooms. The plants are still small, even though we planted them a month ago, but you can see they have really nice leaves and they're really vigorous. These three are our Lavender Provence lavenders, and they're the tallest lavenders. They are grown commercially for the perfume industry because they're extremely fragrant and they have a light blue flower with narrow spikes. These ones were started from gallons, and you can see they're already gonna bloom this year. These are English Lavender Angusfolia plants, and these ones were started from, again from a gallon, so they're already blooming and you can see that the buds are shorter and more compact they're not kind of long and narrow like the other ones the Provence we're really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with this garden and I'm also really excited to take you with us on our journey to see about the lavender plants I'm going to be talking about the best kind of lavender plants to grow for fragrance and also the culinary uses of lavender we'll also get into propagation of lavenders, how to prune them. And so I hope that you'll join me. You can find more information on the videos that I'm gonna be having on my YouTube page. So happy growing, bye-bye.